Hello and welcome to the Resale AI new account training. I'm so glad that you made the decision to purchase Resale AI. You're going to see how it's going to really change your life. I'm going to walk you through the initial setup and training along the way. So when you first log into Resale AI, this is going to be the login page. So you'll type in your email address and your password and you'll hit sign in. And as you know that you will be able to access Resale AI when you're not in the store as well. So you'll just use that email address and password that you've set up to access your account. So it's dropped us into the daybook page. To start the setup process, we're gonna go into the menu and then go to settings. And it drops us into the account settings and we're gonna talk about the automations and integrations that you can get set up. So the first one is connecting DRS. So as long as you've downloaded Resell AI onto each POS, you should be connected to DRS automatically. What that's gonna do is import all of your sales history as long as you've been in business for at least one year, we'll be able to capture that information. This will allow you to set goals uh, based on last year's comps. And I will show you that here in just a little bit. The next portion of our integrations is going to be five stars. If you use five stars for your loyalty rewards program, you can set up your five stars account here. This is gonna allow you to automate the points. So you come in here, click on your store and choose the points that you want to give per purchase and per, uh, things that you buy and get that set. Once you've done that, you just contact Resell AI to let us know what date you want to start. Uh, the reason why we say that is giving yourself time to train the team members on how to do the process going forward. So you'll no longer have to calculate those points manually in the five stars queue. When a customer is ready to uh, check out, you will ask them for their phone number. You'll do an F4 lookup in DRS and attach that customer record to that transaction and that's what awards those points automatically. Resell AI will batch out those points throughout the day about three to four times. So by the end of the day, the customer will see those points on their account. The next part of our integrations that we offer is with When I Work. If you're using When I Work for your scheduling, you can come over here and click your add your When I Work account, type in your email address and your password and authorize the account. Once you've done that, you'll scroll up here to your automations piece, and you'll just need to select the address that the store is located on and sync the account. That's gonna allow Resell AI and When I Work to talk. So now going forward, once you create your schedules in When I Work and publish them, they're gonna publish them onto the daybook so you can see who's scheduled and at what time. If you have the time clock feature um, add-on for When I Work, you can also clock in and out through Resell AI, and this will also allow us to calculate labor efficiency numbers on your reporting. The next integration we have is through QuickBooks. So whether you have online or desktop, you can connect your account here. This allows you to go through and map your chart of accounts. Once you've done that, what Resell AI will do then for you on the back end is upload your daily journal entries for you. Uh, so you can connect your constant contact and what that's going to do is you'll log in with your email address and password. Once you've done that, you will come up here to your automations again and select the store and then uh, the list that you want us to start subscribing to. Once that's done, any information that's entered into DRS and from five stars will automatically be sent to that list. And just like five stars, it does batch out a couple times a day, so by the end of the day, we will have sent all that information over to your constant contact account. The last three options we have here are going to be your cloud storage account. So if you happen to have one of these accounts, you can connect them. What that will allow you to do is then we will send you a... Next, you're going to go to users, and this is where you're going to allow other people to have access while they're not in the store. And this is primarily used for any other owners, managers, uh, key holders, anybody that's holding a leadership role, you want to create a user account for them. So you'd come over here to add user, type in their name, their email address, what their default store is, and then what their access level is. So they're going to be either a store manager, a district manager. So you'll add that and add user. And that's going to send them an email letting them know that an account has been created for them and for them to log in and, and set up a password. Again, this is going to be able for them to log into Race LAI while they're not in the store from their phone or from their PC, plus their access level. So they'll be able to come into settings, do any changes in the settings feature, also have access to reports, which the store does not have access to. The next portion 
is the um, store setting. So we're gonna talk about that. So we just set up your account portion. Now we're gonna talk about the store. So here is where you can see your different stores. So if you only have one, you'll come in here. It'll show you the store name, what the Winmark store number is, your phone number for the store, and then your assigned text phone number. And that's gonna be based on your current store location. So you'll get a local phone number. And always make a note of that phone number because you can use it for social media advertising. So just jot that down. But if you ever have questions, you can come here and go to store settings and see what that number is. If at any point you want to add a store, so if you have multiple locations, you'd come here, add store, type in the name, store phone number, put in the phone number here, and then click create. And that's going to generate another store. And then we'll assign a texting phone number. Once you've done that, then you can see if you come to your drop down menu, you'll have a list of the several different stores that you have access to. And you can quickly flip to those stores and it'll take you to that store on the same page that you're on. The next piece of the setup is going to be the goals. So this is what we talked about in the very beginning. So since we have access to DRS, we're able to pull in your sales history. So as long as you've been open for at least one year, we can pull in uh, last year's sales. And then we can show up to three years just so you can see how your store performed. It's important to note that we do day of the week comping. So it's going to be the most accurate. So you see here, you can click show dates. So it's always going to be a Sunday to a Sunday or a Saturday to Saturday. So what that does is you have the two different options. So you can set goals manually. So you can come in here, go to the day, type in what goal you want, and then go up here and click save goal. But what most of our stores do is set a magic goal. So based on last year's comp, you can choose what percent of growth that you wanna grow. So you can come in here and say, I wanna grow 10% over last year. So you'll put that in here. Then you'll choose what your trade percent goal is, what your minimum ADS goal is, so your minimal, minimum average daily transaction, and then your minimum sales goal. And what that is is gonna be your stop gap goal. So at any point, uh, you do not wanna be below this goal. So for example, if you closed early for weather or had a huge sale come in and it may skew that 10% number, you wouldn't want to only grow 10% over $200 for one, for one day, for example. So that's where this uh, minimum sales goal would come into play. You click save and update and that's where the goals are calculated. And that's where the goals populate at the beginning of the day book. The next portion of your setup is gonna be with employees. If you happen to be using When I Work, once you connect your When I Work account, it automatically syncs your employees for you. So you won't have to do anything here. If you aren't using When I Work, you'll just come up to add employee put in all their information here, important to set their DRS initials, and then click create employee. You wanna also select what store they work at if they were at several different ones, go ahead and select that as well. This is gonna allow them to check off tasks and also be able to leave notes on the daybook. Talk about the backstock setup, so you'll click on backstock, you'll come in here and add in all your categories. So you'll select add a category, type in the name of each category, and then hit create. And you'll do that for each category that you carry in the store. The next portion is location setup. So you'll come in here, click add a location, type in that location, and then what's the next likely location it's gonna go to. So for example, if it's in the back room, it's gonna go to the floor, because that's gonna be what empties the bin. If it's in an offsite location, so you'll click in the unit, where's it gonna go next? You're gonna wanna say that you wanna pick up from the unit and then create the location. Once you've done that, you just let us know at Resilii how many bins you have. We will load that for you, so you won't have to do that on your end. So you just contact us via our chat tool or send us an email and we will add those bins. Once we've done that, you will get an email PDF of all those bin numbers and then you print that out onto an Avery label, a 5163 or any two by four all weather label, and then you'll fix those to the bins. The next setup piece is gonna be tasks. So you'll click on the task menu. We auto load those opening and closing task lists that you've already seen on your page when you log in, but you can edit and customize them for your store. So you come down here and if you wanna add a new list, you'll type in the new list name. So let's say it's cleaning, for example, You'll type in cleaning and then create list. Under the cleaning, click the plus sign and that's where you put the individual tasks themselves. So if you wanna do windows, you click windows and then maybe you don't want 
So you'll uncheck those days of the week and keep check the days of the week that you want it to populate. You'll hit create. Once you've done that, if you click open the cleaning checklist again, you'll see that only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays will that task appear on the daybook. And then you'll do that for each task. Um, you can also click edit task and delete it out. If you don't want it all together, just click delete and delete those task lists out. I've seen people do tasks for shifts. So if you have an opening uh, opener shift, a midday, a closing, you can also customize it for leadership. However you want to set it up for your store, you have the ability to do that. And the last piece of the setup is going to be your texting. So with Resell AI, you have access to respond to text messages. It's two-way. So not only will you be responding to them and letting them know, hey, their, their buy is done, but um, you can set pre-written responses. To so you set up the categories themselves. So you can type in what is the pre-written response category and then what is the verbiage that you want to say. So you just come in here, select the title and then the message and then you'll hit save. So we'll put in test and then you hit save. Same thing with auto reply. So you can do a 411 reply. If they text you that, you'll get this number. You can do, if your store does donating, you can set up a donate response. So you can see we have, a, a, if it's an all pass, we let them know if you reply back with donate, we'll donate them. So if they respond back with just that word, this is the response they get back from us. And then the GNL portion of it, this is where you'll come in and set up your, your QuickBooks. So if you have desktop or online, you'll determine that here, and then you'll walk through all your chart of accounts and then set up the automatic review. If you have any questions around that, we have some really great articles around it. So you can click on that and read how to get that set up. If you still have some questions, feel free just to hit that chat button and one of us here will walk you through that. So that has been an overview about how to set up your new account. Uh, we walk through your account settings. I uh, talked about the billing, how do you add users. The next portion of it is all your store settings, uh, how to set your goals, how to add employees, how to get your back stock set up, initially how to add in your tasks and edit your tasks and then setting up your pre-written response for texting. The next series of videos you'll learn how to use Daybook, how to text customers when their buys have completed, what our new buy process looks like, and answer any questions along the way. So tune into those following videos. Thank you.